Hi, second grade. Welcome to our first online teacher time. Today, we're going to talk about main idea and key details as our comprehension skill for the week. I know that both second grade classes have already talked about this comprehension skill, but we're going to go ahead and review it this week since it is an important comprehension skill for all second graders to know. Before I get started with reading a text to you and modeling how to identify the main idea and key details, I'm going to go ahead and review what main idea means and what key details are. So let me go ahead and pull up our anchor chart. All right, here we go. So the main idea of a text is what it's mostly about. So the big picture, what is the text mostly talking about? Some clues or questions that we can ask ourselves in order to find the main idea is, what is the text mostly about? We can also ask ourselves, what is the title? Because a lot of the time, the title will give us a hint to what the main idea is. We can also look at pictures to see what those pictures are and if that helps us find what the main idea is. Are there any words that are repeated? So if a word is happening a lot in a text, if it's repeating, then that might be the main idea. Another really big clue is to look at the first or last sentence in the text, because these sentences will sometimes tell us what the main idea is. After we find the main idea, so what the text is mostly about, then we need to come up with some key details that help support the main idea. So key details are sentences that tell more about, describe, or explain the main idea. I'm going to go ahead and read a text to you. And this text is called Teamwork in Space. After I am done reading the text, I'm going to show you how I would find the main idea. And then I'm going to find three key details that support that main idea. So this is called teamwork in space. Teamwork in space. Why was teamwork important to build and operate the space station? Okay. So again, as I am reading, I am listening for the main idea and the key details. Where do you think this photograph was taken? Yes, it was taken out in space. What do you think this photograph shows? It's a space station, a spacecraft that stays in space and orbits or moves around our planet Earth. This space station is called the International Space Station. A team of people from 15 different nations built it and worked together to run it. The team even has a robot named Dexter. Let's see what kinds of jobs different members of the team do. The first parts of the space station were built mostly by people from the United States and Russia. In the United States, the scientists at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration helped to build the space station. In the year 2000, the space station was ready for people. Who do you think went to live on the space station? Yes, astronauts. While the astronauts work on the space station, a crew of people back on Earth help them. The team on Earth uses computers to operate some equipment on the station. Over the next few years, many parts were added to the space station. A space, sta a space shuttle is a spacecraft that can be used over and over again to make trips into space. Every four or five months, space shuttles carried new astronauts to replace the team of three astronauts who were living on the space station. The crew on the shuttles would help the team on the space station in many ways. They would deliver new supplies such as food, clothing, fuel, and oxygen for the astronauts to breathe. The shuttle crews would perform repairs and add new equipment. Sometimes they would even take away trash from the space station. 
In 2008, a robot built by the Canadian Space Agency joined the team on the space station. Its name is Dexter. Dexter has arms about 11 feet long. It can, care, it can attach power tools as fingers. Over the years, shuttle teams did several jobs to get ready to bring more people to the station. They added new solar panels to increase electric power. Three new astronauts came to the space station. That made a total of six people living on the station. In 2010, everyone on the space station team had something to celebrate. They could celebrate the fact that people had been living on the space station far above Earth for 10 whole years. Teamwork made it possible. All right, now that I have read the text, I'm going to model how I would use some clues to help me find the main idea and the key details of the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull up that anchor chart again so that I can reread what the main idea means and what key details are. So let me pull up that again for us. So I'm gonna remind myself that the main idea is what the text is mostly about. I can look at the title, pictures, and the first or last sentences in the text. Those are some clues. So I'm going to go ahead and find the title because that's my first clue. So it looks like the title is called Teamwork in Space, okay? Now I'm going to read the first and the last sentence to see if that gives me a clue. So the first sentence says, why was teamwork important to build and operate the space station? So again, I'm hearing the word teamwork and I'm hearing something about space. So maybe that's a clue. Let's go ahead and look at the last sentence. The last sentence of the text says teamwork made it possible. So again, I'm hearing something about teamwork. As I look at the pictures, I can see a lot of different pictures about space. And I also see some pictures of people working together. So after going through all of these clues down here, I'm pretty confident with what the main idea might be. So I'm going to look at some sentence frames. So it says that the main idea of the text is, I'm pretty confident if I say that the main idea of the text is teamwork in space. I heard a lot of teamwork in the text. I heard a lot about space. Now I need to think about some key details. And remember the key details need to support the main idea. So the key details from the text need to be about teamwork in space. So what I heard in the text about teamwork in space. One example is that I remember that it said that a team of people helped to build the International Space Station. So it took teamwork in space to build that International Space Station. From the pictures and the text, I heard that everyone has a job to do. So again, about teamwork. And then I remember that last sentence in the text said teamwork made it possible. So teamwork made building that space station and allowing people to live on the space station possible. So I'm gonna say a third key detail is teamwork made it possible for people to live on the space station. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna reread what I wrote to make sure that my main idea and key details match, that they're all about the same thing. So I wrote the main idea of this text is teamwork in space. One key detail is a team of people help to build the International Space Station. Another key detail is everyone has a job. A third key detail is teamwork made it possible for people to live on the space station. So I can see that all three of my key details match my main idea of teamwork 
in space. What you are going to do now is you're going to go to the independent practice slide. On that in independent practice slide, there's another video for you to watch so that you know what to do in order to practice main idea and key details on your own. On that slide, there are also some sentence frames. They're the same sentence frames that I just used to help me create sentences about the main idea and key details. Okay. So you're gonna to go to the independent practice slide and work on main idea and key details on your own. Thanks so much for listening, second grade. Have a great rest of your day.